this is literally so embarrassing. <laughs> oh no. This is so embarrassing because God literally had to give me a reality check. Okay. So I just posted a video about you having to follow God's will and what he wants you to do with your life, right? So, you know, yeah. So I have uh, been having a feeling that I'm not supposed to go back to work. I'm supposed to be focusing on God right now because if I go back to work, I'm going to um, lose my connection and that uh, I'm not going to have the time that I have for him that I do now. So I was crying to God, like, God, I can't find a job. Nobody wants me. I'm getting denied, 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 denied. So I'm constantly getting denied for jobs. I'm just so confused because I never got denied for jobs before, like, ever. Like, this is the first time ever. And I'm sitting here, like, my resume's perfect, like, outstanding. And I was like, okay, maybe I need to redo it. Redid it. It's perfect. Like, and I'm just like, okay, it should be fine. So I started to get, like, accepted for interviews okay so boom i had an interview yesterday um i was talking to lay i was just talking to god like let the hours be perfect everything perfect right like that will align to like what i need for a job and what will help me and everything like that okay so i'm sitting here begging god talking to god crying everything right had my interview yesterday so the lady was like it's a seven to three that's perfect that's perfect that's exactly what i need it's a seven to three PTO Monday through Friday. It's ten minutes away from my kids' daycare. They do tuition reimbursement for schooling. That was a plus. So the lady sitting there talking all this good stuff, saying like basically, basically saying like I got the job. Like basically saying like okay, um, I'm gonna send all your stuff over to the facility. Um, telling me about CPR training and stuff like that, like give me all hype. So I'm sitting here like this. Oh my goodness, like I got the job, right? So I'm sitting here happy, excited all day because I'm like, oh my gosh, like thank you, God. Like, and I came on here bragging, like, God, thank you so much for everything. Like, you know, I still thank him because you guys gotta listen to this. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta listen to this. Y'all gotta listen to what he did. I woke up this morning and I was checking my email because I'm waiting for this facility to tell me when I can uh, come in. And they literally sent me an email. They literally sent me an email saying this. Thank you for applying for blah, 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 the job title. But we decided to move forward. Uh, we decided uh, not to move forward with the application. At this point, I'm confused because this lady told me yesterday, basically I'm in, I have to do CPR training all this other stuff and i'm just so confused like what what wait what so then instantly as soon as i saw that like i just started talking to god y'all i started talking to god because i'm like god like i was just sitting there talking to god i was crying i was talking to him like i thought this was from you i thought like you you know was giving me this i was crying for this i was begging for this guess what he told me he said I wanted to show you I can give you that perfect job that you need with the hours, the tuition, everything, like everything that aligned with what you want to do, like what you need. I can give you that. I can give you that. But that's not what I want you to do. So he took it back. <laughs> what? He he was like I that's not what I want you to do. He was trying to show me, I can get you this job. I can give you the hours that you need. I can give you the pay that you need. I can give you the tuition reimbursement that you need. I can give you everything that you need, the PTO, the Monday through Friday, the weekends off. I can give you that. I can give you that. I can bless you with that. I wanted to show you. I can give you that, what you're crying about. I can give that to you. I can give it to you. But that's not what I want you to do, Miss Lady. So now I'm sitting here like, uh, and you know what? He wants me to stay home. He wants me to stay home. He wants me to stay home with my kids. He wants me to send my daughter to daycare and want me to focus on him and what he wants me to do because what he wants me to do is 
something I need to be home for. Something I, I'm not going to say specifically because he told me this already. And I was like, okay, so I'm thinking I could do both, like work and do this. But I'm guessing not. I guess, no, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do both. So I think he's requiring me to stay home and to do this at home. So yeah, that's what I was getting at when I say listen to what God wants you to do because like he can literally give you what you want. He can give you like what you're sitting there begging and crying about. And then show you that I told you this is not what I want you to do. Like I can give this to you if I wanted it for you, but I don't want this for you. So I'm closing doors. So I'm trying to say is like listen to God and listen to what he's trying to tell you because he wants you to do something else other than what you're running after and running after uh, to do that you want to do on your heart. Because working was something I wanted to do. Working was something that I really wanted to do when God told me, like, I said you're going to do this. I said you're going to do that. And if you're going to do that, you, not if. I want you to do that. You need to stay home take care of the house and your kids and focus on that and I will help you every step of the way of this process so yeah I had to get on here y'all because I was like literally excited yesterday and God really had to tell me not too long ago that I can give this to you but no I didn't tell you that and you know that 